Hello, and welcome to Let's Learn. This video series will explain the strategy and implementation of active campaign features all in less than 15 minutes. This lesson is all about custom contact fields. In today's lesson, we'll cover an introduction to custom fields, personalization tags, and custom field groups. Then, we'll jump into the platform for a demo of all of these features. By the end of this training, you'll understand custom contact fields, be able to select and create a custom field type, and create and manage field groups. All businesses want to learn and collect more information about their contacts. Every business is unique and will require collecting data that doesn't fit into standard fields, such as name, phone number, and email. To customize your contact profiles, you can create custom contact fields. Custom contact fields store information specific to each contact across all your contacts. Similar to standard fields, custom fields are best suited to capture permanent data relative to a contact that is not easily changed. For example, you would use a custom field to capture a contact's pet's name, or a type of pet, a birth date, or more. So, when you're creating custom fields, you must also select what type of data you are storing. There are many types of data you can create, from text input to a date field, a drop-down or radio buttons, and more. We'll show the many types of custom fields when we are in the demo shortly. Collecting this type of information makes it easier to personalize your communications with your contacts. You want to achieve hyper-segmentation, which is segmenting your customers down to the one-to-one -one level. You can include personal information about a specific customer in your communications with them. To accomplish this, you have to ask the right questions and store information the best way for your business. Custom fields also have the advantage of creating personalization tags so that you can insert the data from custom fields into your campaigns, creating those powerful hyper-segmentation moments for your customer. A personalization tag is a small snippet of code that you insert into a marketing message that pulls the contact's information into the field. If you want to insert personalization data into a campaign, creating a custom field is the best path to show your contacts that you are listening to their interests and preferences. If your customer has a blank custom field, a personalization tag will automatically be completed with a default value you create, which I'll also show in the platform. Finally, we know you will be using custom fields a lot. We've created field groups to make it easier to organize and group custom fields within your account. Field groups are created on the Manage Fields page. You can use this feature to group similar custom contact fields together, making it easy to find relevant information, as well as give you a clear view of the Manage Fields page and all contact profile pages. And now, let's learn. We'll head to the platform and take a look at how to create, edit, and organize custom fields. You can create an unlimited number of custom contact fields and organize them by field group. Custom contact fields can be created from the Manage Fields page, any contact profile page, any inline form, and the Import Contacts page in your ActiveCampaign account. First, we'll be showing the Manage Fields page option. Let's click on Lists, located in the left menu. Then we'll click on Manage Fields. Be sure that the Contacts tab on the Manage Fields page is selected. It is by default. To create a new custom contact field, we'll click the Add Field button in the top right corner. Then we'll type the field name in the field provided. This can be a question you'd like to ask in a form. We'll ask for contacts to select their favorite food from a short list. The group is which section of custom fields I'd like to store this field. We'll stick with the default choice, General Details. Next, we'll pick a field type. There are several types to choose from, and they serve different purposes. For example, text and text area allow for typed responses. Date and date and time allow for specific times. And radio lists, checkboxes, and dropdowns are a great way to go through lists. For this question, we're going to select Radio button, which allows contacts to select one answer from a list. Now we'll type in our options.
finally, we'll click Add to create our custom field. Now let's take a look at our custom field. Hover over your field to see a pencil or a trash can. We'll click on the pencil to edit our field. The trash can deletes your field. You'll note the personalization tag for our new field is kind of long. We can update that here. You'll note that we can change the group the question is in and add more options, but we cannot change the type of field this is. If you want to change a field type, you need to create a new custom field. You'll note that you can add a default value to your custom field. If your contact doesn't make a selection, it will select the default value. For example, we can select pizza as our default option. Let's hit save to keep our changes. Now let's make a new custom field group and move our question over. Click add group. And then we'll type the name of our new section of questions. Click create. Now we can go back to our question, edit it again, and move it to our new group. Click save. You see right down here. Now let's take a look at the other locations where you can create custom fields. First, we'll look at a contact profile. Let's click on contacts. Then we'll search for a contact. You can add a custom contact field from any profile. You can also add a custom field from any form. Let's click on site. Then we'll click on forms. Click here to edit a form. And as you can see, you can add a custom field from within this form. You can create this custom field on the go so you can ask your contacts brand new questions.